First at 5 3, a, thir a three car crash in Providence sends multiple people to the hospital last night. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kaluni, and one of the cars was stolen. As the investigation continues, officials say it could be connected to a recent trend on social media. It's called the Kia Challenge, or the Kia Boys, where teenagers learn how you easily can steal certain make and models. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez talked to a North Providence man who says his Kia was stolen just 24 hours prior. Joe? Mike, Kim, we've seen more of these TikTok challenges popping up, and right now, in the span of two days, two separate incidents in the Providence area have involved stolen Kia souls. One of the victims tells 12 News that he's afraid this trend is going to get worse. Late Tuesday night, Providence police attempted to stop a stolen 2019 Kia Soul, which took off and caused a three car accident. Police say two juveniles were taken into custody shortly after, and one officer tells 12 News it could be linked to the Kia challenge found on the popular app TikTok. The TikTok challenge, it's not going away. TikTok's not going away. If someone hasn't heard of it yet, they're going to hear about it soon because of all the thefts. Um, and I think it's just going to gain in popularity from this point. In a separate incident Monday evening, Tashin said two young adults came to his house near Mineral Springs claiming to sell solar panels, but he couldn't make out their identity. 7.30 at night, it was pitch black. Um, they didn't have any like clipboards or like badges around their neck from what I could see. I kind of dismissed it and sent him on his way, sent them on their way. Tashin said he thought it was an odd interaction, but didn't give it much thought until the following morning. North Providence police were at our door saying, hey, did you know your car got stolen? Tashin said police told him his 2014 Kia Soul was stopped by Providence PD and the suspects jumped out and escaped. According to his mechanic, the car has significant damage and the ignition was stripped, which could be connected to the recent challenge showing any TikTok user how to steal a Kia or Hyundai by simply using a USB. I don't know how that content is allowed to begin with, but... It is apparently, and kids are just flocking to it. Throughout the country over the last few months, Kia and Hyundai have said they have been working with local police departments to provide free steering wheel locks and have adjusted their engine mobilizers for their new models to prevent further problems in the future. Someone's going to be held responsible, right? It can't only fall on the car owner, right? It was parked right on my property. You know, it's, it was brazen what they did. We've reached out to multiple police departments and Hyundai and Kia for further comment, but have not received anything back. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.